Introducing the all new Corolla. Both incumbent Attorney General Lenny Rapatis and his challenger, Judge Elizabeth Barrett Anderson, told Rotarians today that they will support the public's choice if the medicinal marijuana referendum passes in the November 4th election. However, they also voice their concerns about legalizing marijuana for medicinal use. It's enough for me to know that there are more room, emergency room visits in a medicinal marijuana world. It's enough for me to know that even in a medicinal marijuana jurisdiction, there's still going to be a black market for cheaper, untaxed marijuana. Because what's the point of, of, of doing this other than the medicinal part? It's getting the taxes. There will be, I think, negative effects for a law enforcement in the short run, and I don't know how Guam is going to deal with the long-term effects, but GPD is going to have to have its officers trained as DREs or drug, drug recognition ex experts. It takes between 112 and 132 hours to get one trained just to be in the field. I want to be able to encourage that we become a zero-tolerant marijuana jurisdiction when it comes to DUID driving under the influence of drugs. Even if it does pass, and even if we have these rules and regulations, it is still point blank illegal, a misdemeanor crime, to get behind the wheel of a car drugged. Doesn't matter what kind of drug. Even if it's medical marijuana, it is not a defense when you tell the cop, here's my medical marijuana registry card. No, 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 no. That's not a defense, and we're not gonna tolerate that. The candidates were also asked today which crimes they consider to be the most serious of problems on our island. Sharing her own experience as a victim of crime, Bear Anderson said all crimes are equally important as they relate to the victim, but she said crimes of property are a growing problem on Guam. It has elevated not only to crime of property, but it has elevated to crimes against person. When a, a, a burglar comes in and threatens you and harms you as you are still in your home, it's almost insanity. Rapatis listed assaults, child abuse, robberies, and homicides, as well as all other crimes against persons, as the most serious. Well, I push a lot of our resources towards the criminal violations, which include property crimes. I am pushing my resources to what I feel are these priorities, the victim crime, crimes where an actual victim is harmed. So I'm pushing that. And how are we doing that? We're prioritizing uh, where our resources go. Another question posed to the candidates was on their stance of whether that position of attorney general should be elected or appointed. Both said they support giving the people the right to elect their AG. On the organization of the Attorney General's office, Baird Anderson said there needs to be legislation clearly defining the role of the Attorney General and the Governor as Chief Executor when they have a disagreement. Rapata said he thinks the elected Attorney General should be fully independent from the Governor. Betsy Brown, PNC News.